Hello, this is part three and hopefully the last part to the repairing this Maplin 5600S synthesizer. Now I'm a little bit annoyed because I've lost the bit of video previous to this where I took all the filter 2 apart and I've actually repaired it. It works. If you remember it had one of the microchips hanging off and there was just no power going around that board at all. Also the envelope control, I've had that out and sorted that out, well as much as I think I've sorted it out anyway. But now I'm getting sounds, but lots of mains hum, so I've got to get back to that and sort the mains hum out. Here's the sounds. <laughs> Yeah, great, if you like that sort of thing. So, spin it around, I'm going to try and get rid of that mains hum, find out what that problem is, and move on to the next step. And hopefully this is going to be the last video, because I'm kind of getting tired of this now. This great big thing on my desk, taking up all my space. But, let's see what I can do. I think I've just figured out where this mains hum is coming from. If I just turn on the amplifier, as you can hear, now, if I connect the ground of the output to this ground up here, quiet, nice and quiet. Turn on the keyboard. There you go. I'm sure it wasn't that bad in video one and two. I might have caused that by taking out the two amplifiers and losing the ground connection. So I'm going to put a permanent wire across there and just ground the output. So oh, there's a, a sort of a ground bus bar, if you like, running all the way around this pegboard. So all I'm going to do is connect a cable, a cable, a wire even, to that. And then just put this grounding to the output here. And that should solve that problem. I have actually ordered a couple of TDA2003, which are the 8 watt amplifier modules. The One of them was faulty, so I took them both out. So I've decided, you know, I've ordered the piece, I'm going to repair those as well and actually put those back in. That way I can keep this as original as possible. So, let's see if this works. And now turn on the amplifier. Turn on the synthesizer. Sounds okay. Right, what's next? I've also put a proper, more up to date power connector on here as well because I couldn't find the old round mains connectors anywhere. So, disconnected that and put in a more up to date connector. Right, got the sound. I'm going to close this lid back up now. I keep the audio hanging out here for the moment into the amplifier. I've ordered the TDA2003 chips. They'll probably arrive tomorrow and then I'll put the amplifiers back in. But uh, for now, let's close it up and let's have a listen to some of the sounds. What I've got set up here now, just so I can uh, mess about with it and get some sounds out of it, is I've got one of these Roland sync boxes. It's MIDI going in and the control voltage is coming out directly into the Maplin. Now I've got a TB3, which is a, it's a bass machine, but I'm only using the MIDI out, the note data coming out into that, and that is converting the MIDI into the CV. So. This is oscillator number one. Don't expect anything too musical, I'm only sort of trying to get some sounds out of it. 
That's oscillator number two. Oscillator number three. And oscillator number four. Now, right, I'm going to send them through filter one now. Interesting. Filter two. Anyway, so there you go. I'm getting some very interesting sounds out of this thing. Uh, I don't actually, I must confess, don't actually know fully how to control this thing yet but uh, just about everything seems to be working now there's still one or two of the buttons that don't want to uh, make contact but I don't know it's like digging a hole you just keep getting deeper and deeper and deeper but yes uh, as you can hear I can make noises now I've downloaded this book from uh, a friend who has uh, copied it for me. Uh, thank you very much, Jonah, or Johan, I think that's your name. Excuse me if I've gotten it wrong, but thank you very much. And a little bit of help from Bob Fuller as well. Thanks a lot, mate. Much appreciated. But as for this thing now, apart from putting the amplifiers back in when the part finally arrives, I think that's as far as I want to go with it. I've really sort of uh, spent far too much time on this now. It's uh, It's been an interesting little project but the, the trouble is you know I've got to work for a living in between so I've had to keep pushing it aside and doing my other work and then coming back to it when I can find a moment. So I'm sorry it's taken a long time to finish off this uh, video but uh, short and sweet I hope it's been of some interest to you. Now Will it blend? No, I'm only joking. Uh, it's a, it still isn't 100% perfect. So I think I'm just going to sell it on and hopefully somebody else out there is going to finish off all the finer details to it and it'll make somebody a nice synthesizer. Okay, at the end of the video, at last, uh, I've put all the little plastic caps and everything back onto all the buttons and stuff and gave it one last tidy up. I've still got to uh, do the amplifiers but I'll do those when the part arrives. So uh, I'm uh, getting a bit fed up of this now but I'm getting all the sounds out of it and I'll give a little demonstration of some of the sounds that I've managed to get out of this. I'm just using the CV, the control voltage input and all the sounds will be coming from this, uh, no external effects uh, and there will be drums, but they're coming from a drum machine, obviously. So, let's see what I can do. And I forgot to say, thanks for watching. Thank you.